Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm Erin, I have two photos today. This is my husband and I, we were out to dinner and I'm going to be using the Love Notes collection to document these photos. This is a current Valentine's collection out right now. I have already used quite a bit of this paper pack. So I've pulled these three sheets. I do have some scraps left over I'm going to try to incorporate into this layout. With only two photos, it's going to be a single page layout. So I have a sheet of white daisy attached to my Versamat. And then this is a pattern from the Make It From Your Heart Volume 6 sketchbook. They've got two larger photos, but I'm going to be drawing some inspiration from that particular sketch. So I've cut down some pieces here for the top and bottom sections of my layout. I love the stripe paper because it helps just bring in all of the colors from the paper pack. This smaller strip of paper here is cut from Seabrook cardstock, and that's going to be my transition piece. And then I will replicate that on the bottom with skinnier pieces. So a little bit narrower strip of the stripe paper. And then again, that little transition of Seabrook. So I've got my two photos here for the center and they had one solid piece on the sketch. I've got scraps I want to use, but I think that I can kind of camouflage this so it will look like one seamless piece behind my photos. This side of the paper pack is pretty valentine -y. It's got the bears and the hearts and the flowers. My husband and I were out to dinner and it was very close. It was the day before Valentine's Day. So I'm going to call it Valentine's Day dinner and use this paper while I have the opportunity. So I've got a couple little bits and pieces here. This title says Lovely Day. That's from the chipboard pieces from the Sweet Memories collection. Now this little envelope, I have been having so much fun. This is from a die set that is part of the Love Notes collection. And this envelope is just the cutest little thing. So you've got stamps and coordinating dies. And then I also cut out a whole bunch of hearts with some of my heart dies from my stash. So I used scraps of the pattern paper and then some of the coordinating cardstock colors and just cut a bunch of hearts in different sizes. So I've got a few different ideas to, you know, kind of bring these hearts into the layout. I could create kind of a base little anchor supporting my photos underneath here. And I'm just kind of spreading out the colors to make sure it's balanced all the way across. So we've got that, you know, dominant red uh, pattern with the small white hearts on it. And that one's really bold. So I want to make sure that that is distributed. And I'm kind of filling in the spaces now with the smaller hearts. I do like this idea, but I've done a similar layout to this before. It's it's fun. I do love all the hearts across the bottom, but I kind of want to use that envelope and I have another idea. So let's kind of scoot these off to the side. And then I'm thinking of maybe having the hearts kind of like floating out of the envelope. Like if you opened up a Valentine's card and there's all these little heart confetti pieces in there, that's just kind of what I'm thinking of in my mind. So I'm going to start with the larger hearts on the bottom and then, you know, make them smaller as they go up towards the top of the layout. I also have these ridiculously cute puffy hearts that come with this collection. I will add some of those when I'm ready. They're sticky back, so I can't really dry fit those, but I'll add them to that little heart envelope uh, embellishment over there. I'm adding a little distressed texture to the edge of this piece here with my uh, little edge distressing tool. And this is no longer available from close to my heart, but you can use the you know, back of your scissors or even an older pair of scissors to achieve the same result. And I'm just kind of roughing it up and it's a fun look, something a little bit different from inking the edges. I want to point out that the colors in my photo don't necessarily match the colors in this paper pack. They don't clash because there are a lot of neutrals. I'm wearing tan and my husband's wearing tan. The wall color in the background is actually kind of a shortbread color, which is a coordinating color in this paper collection. But because the photos have a neutral color palette, I think that I can get away with using this colorful pinks and reds and all of these colors going on. Now, what's a super feminine Valentine's layout without a little bit of sparkle? I've got a strip of scarlet red glitter paper, and I think I'll just add this to the layer across the bottom. The hearts is a zip strip, and I do wanna add a little bit of inking to define the edge of these lighter hearts. This is the peach color, so I'm going for a tone on tone look with these hearts, and it'll just kinda give them a little bit of dimension. 
I'm having fun with this. As I mentioned, we don't have a lot of Valentine's lovey-dovey type photos, so I am enjoying going all out with the hearts and the pinks and the peaches, and it's just kind of fun to switch it up and use a different color palette from time to time. In the photos, we are having dessert. My husband's got a big old brownie with ice cream on top. I just opted for the ice cream. I didn't think to snap pictures of our actual meals, but that may have been fun to look back on to see what we had ordered. We don't go out to dinner very often, so this is definitely a fun treat every once in a while. So I'm just gonna arrange these hearts back in here, making sure that that, again, we're spreading out our color as we kind of go up. I've got a couple different patterns and then some solid pieces. So I just wanna make sure that this is balanced. Since I introduced the craft color in the title, Lovely Day, I also punched out a few of these tiny little hearts from the Sweet Memories die cuts to add to that heart cluster, just to have that somewhere else on the layout. Let me get the center for my O there. Looking at those paperboard die cuts, I do see this kind of swirly element that I think will just be a nice kind of textural element to the envelope. Let's see if it fits. It hangs over the side just a little bit, but I do like the way that looks. I have a few more stickers from the coordinating sticker sheet I'd like to incorporate. There's a bunch of these little banner tail pieces and I thought it'd be nice to add a little cluster and some of that red color up top here to balance out that bold red heart in the lower left corner. This smaller sticker has two little kind of champagne glasses on it. And then this one has roses. I'm not sure if I'll use that one. I'm just kind of looking for more stickers. This one says the key to my heart. And let's see what else we could possibly use. We could just put this little piece up here. I do like that, but there's also another sticker that says I love you. And maybe I could use that one instead. Let's see what this looks like. Mm, no, you know, I think I like the key to my heart. I'm going to go ahead and glue down the center to my title here. This is a wax to a wax pickup tool, and it's great for picking up those smaller pieces and the tinier embellishments, especially like sequins. When it loses its stickiness, you just sharpen it with a pencil sharpener and it's brand new again. That little sticker says love. And then I did print out my journaling on vellum. I've been doing this quite a bit lately for my layouts. And I notice I do that. I'll kind of grab onto a technique and I'll use it repeatedly and then get tired of it and move on until I decide to come back and revisit that technique. So I do always love the look of vellum. And adhesive does show through most vellums. So I like to attach it underneath my paper. I applied a strip of adhesive tape runner and then that's going to hold it underneath these papers and it'll just be loose down below. But it is enough adhesive to where it's not going to go anywhere. We'll add a little liquid glue for my glitter paper strip here. Now we can't forget about our puffy hearts. I definitely want to add those. So this sticker up top actually says are the key to my heart, but I don't have the word you anywhere on the layout for that to kind of tie in and make sense. So I'm using a puffy sticker to go over the word are, and now it just says the key to my heart, which I think works. Now I do want to add some of these puffy stickers to my little floating heart border over here. So we'll just scatter some of these about. I did like the look of the hearts going across the bottom of the layout, but I'm glad I opted for this because it's all kind of coming together nicely here. Just adding a few finishing details, deciding on what color puffy hearts I want to use. The Love Notes collection is a special going on through February, but that's while supplies last, and I kind of think that envelope die might be a popular item, so if you love it, don't wait too long. I will have still shots of this up over on my Facebook, Instagram, or Pinterest accounts. And everything I use to create this layout can be found in the description box below the video. If you enjoyed this, I would love it if you'd hit that thumbs up button. It does help me out quite a bit here on YouTube. Thank you so much for doing that. And if you want to see more featuring this Valentine's collection, then check out this video right here. I'll see you soon on YouTube.